Well, good morning. This morning we read 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and the first 18 verses. In this passage, Paul lays out the case for full-time ministry, that those who uh, work in the gospel get their living from the gospel. Those who, uh, who, who uh, give of themselves receive from the gospel their food and their living. He makes this case. He, uh, he makes it from the law. Uh, do not muzzle the ox while it is treading the grain. Um, he's saying that it's right that those who sow spiritual seed re reap a material harvest. But then he goes on and says, I haven't taken these rights. I haven't used them. I'd rather die than anyone deprive me of this boast. He was much more keen to um, preach the message than to receive his living from it. And here is the motivation for Christian preachers. We receive financially from the church to enable us to preach, to set us free uh, from the need to uh, work outside of, the, outside of the ministry, outside of the church. But that is not our motivation for doing it. That is what enables us to preach. We would preach anyway, uh, we, because that is the trust that God is putting us. God has called us to be witnesses, to be ministers of the gospel. Uh, that is our calling. That's what's first. This is not a job where you look at your wages first, but this is a calling where you look to the work first. We thank God. For those of us who are in full-time ministry, thank God for you who support us and allow us to be full-time in, in study and prayer and caring for God's people. Um, we, we are grateful to God for calling us to this ministry. It's a great honour and a serious uh, trust that the Lord has placed in us to share the gospel. And we are grateful to the calling to full-time work. The Lord bless you today. Amen.